my dear students we are dealing with the topic profits and gains of business and profession today we are going to discuss a practical problem based on how to compute depreciation allowance let us read the question dr abu had the following assets on 1/4 2019 building office rupees 30 lakh residence for nurses rupees 10 lakh furniture rupees 25 lakh car rupees 5 lakh surgical equipment rupees 20 lakh computers rupees 4 lakh medical books rupees 3 lakh the following details are also available on 1 1/2020 he sold the car for rupees 3 lakh and purchased a new car for rupees 7 lakh in march 2020 he discarded surgical equipment of book value of rupees 3 lakh for rupees 5 lakh and purchased new equipment at cost of rupees 7 lakh he purchased furniture in august 2019 for rupees 12 lakh and a new residential block for doctors purchased during the same month at cost of rupees 20 lakh a new ip block was constructed in january 2020 spending rupees 40 lakh he purchased eight computers for rupees 2 lakh on 31 3 2020 and sold 10 old computers for rupees 1 lakh temporary sheds for vehicle park parking were erected at a cost of rupees 2 lakh compute depreciation allowance so in order to compute depreciation allowance the first point is you have to compute aggregate value of written down value of the block of assets at the beginning of the previous year add any additions third step is deduct the sale value of asset sold or value of asset destroyed balance will be written down value of block of asset for that amount we can compute depreciation okay so what do you mean by block of asset for providing depreciation we are grouping asset into blocks or groups block of asset means group of asset having same rate of depreciation however assets of different types on which same rate of depreciation is applicable cannot be grouped together regarding rate of depreciation you have to remind if an asset is used for less than 180 days during the previous year rate of depreciation will be half of the normal rate suppose if the rate of depreciation of a particular asset is 10 percentage and if that asset is being used for less than 180 days then we can claim only 5 percentage depreciation for that asset because that asset is used only for less than 180 days Okay, so now let us start doing the problem. So first, you have to write computation of depreciation allowance for the assessment year two thousand twenty twenty one. Then you can draw a table like this. You have to provide three amount columns. Last amount column should be for depreciation. First of all, we have to categorize these asset into different block of asset. Okay. So first write block 1 Again you have to study uh the rate of depreciation for the asset Remember for residential building rate of depreciation is 5 percentage for non residential building rate of depreciation is 10 percentage then for temporary erections rate of depreciation is 40 percentage for furniture uh, fittings then uh, electrical fittings rate of depreciation is 10 percentage plant and machinery motor cars etc rate of depreciation is 15 percentage then uh, for uh, speed boats ocean going ships etc rate of depreciation is 20 percentage then uh, again for computers uh books for professional purpose rate of depreciation is 40 percentage intangible asset such as 
patents, know-how, copyright, license, trademark, other commercial rights. Rate of depreciation is 25 percentage. Okay, remind that. Next, uh, so first we can write block one. Here, building office rupees 30 lakh and residence for nurses rupees 10 lakh. Residence for nurses. That means this is residential building. So right here for the for the residential building rate of depreciation is five percentage. So block one rate five percentage. First you can write residential building. It's written down value as ten lakh. Write that ten lakh in the amount column. In additional information, it is given that. A new residential block for doctors purchased during the same month. That means in August at a cost of rupees 20 lakh. Okay, so we can add that figure. Add additions during the year 20 lakh. Now we are getting 30 lakh. Rate of depreciation is 5 percentage. Write that as working note also. Residential building. 5 percentage of the total return down value. That is 30 lakh. 5 percentage of 30 lakh is 1 lakh 50 thousand. Write that amount in depreciation column. Okay. Next one. Block 2. Rate, rate of depreciation for non-residential building is 10 percentage. So rate 10 percentage. Office building. That is non-residential building. So write that non-residential building. Amount is 30 lakh. In the additional information it is given that. A new IP block was constructed in January 2020, cost rupees 40 lakh. So that is an addition, right? So you can write add additions, new IP block, 40 lakh. Add that figure, 70 lakh. While computing depreciation, again remind that this new IP block was constructed in January 2020. That means... This asset is being used for less than 180 days. So we can claim only half the rate of depreciation for this value. Okay. So write that as working note. Total uh, uh, value of non-residential building is 70 lakh. In 70 lakh, 40 lakh is new additional building that means new IP building for that IP building we can claim only half the rate of depreciation that is 5 percentage of 40 lakh balance amount balance amount is 30 lakh for that 30 lakh we can claim the full rate of depreciation that means 10 percentage of 30 lakh so 10 percentage of 30 lakh plus 5 percentage of 40 lakh that is 5 lakh okay don't compute 10 percentage for this figure write working note otherwise you will get uh, you will get confused okay remind that if an asset is being used for less than 180 days you can claim only half the rate of depreciation so for new IP block, we can claim only half the rate of depreciation. So, in this figure, in this 70 lakh, for the amount of 40 lakh, we can claim only half the rate of depreciation. Balance amount of 30 lakh, we can claim full rate of depreciation. Okay. That's how we are computing uh, depreciation. So, total depreciation is 5 lakh. Write that in depreciation column. Next one is block 3 that deals with furniture. It's again a rate of depreciation is 10 percentage. Written down value is 25 lakh. Write that 25 lakh. Again here he purchased furniture in August 2019 for rupees 12 lakh. So right here add additions 12 lakh. Total amount is 37 lakh. New furniture is purchased in the month of August. That means it is... Uh, being used for more than 180 days. So we can claim full rate of depreciation. So 10 percentage for 37 lakh that is 3 lakh 70 thousand. So write 3 lakh 70 thousand in depreciation column. Next one block 4 car. 
rate of depreciation is 15 percentage written down value is 5 lakh right here uh, car written down value 5 lakh in March uh, 2020 sorry on 1-1-2020 he sold the car for rupees 3 lakh and purchased a new car for rupees 7 lakh so new car is purchased in the month January that means new car is being used only for less than 180 days so we can claim only half the rate of depreciation for this figure ok remind that point so add addition 7 lakh less sold figure sold figure is 3 lakh so we can deduct 3 lakh balance amount is 9 lakh don't compute 15 percentage for this 9 lakh that is wrong ok right working not for for the new car we can claim only half the rate that means for 7 lakh we can claim only half the rate of 15 percentage that means 7.5 percentage 7.5 percentage of 7 lakh and balance amount balance amount of 9 lakh is 2 lakh because we have already charged 7.5 percentage for 7 lakh balance amount is 2 lakh for balance amount of 2 lakh we can claim full rate of depreciation that is 15 percentage ok so 7.5 percentage of 7 lakh plus 15 percentage of 2 lakh that is depreciation allowance for car that is 82,500 write that amount in depreciation column next one block 5 again rate of depreciation is 15 percentage surgical equipments surgical equipments that is 20 lakh write that 20 lakh then here in March 2020 he discarded surgical equipment of book value rupees 3 lakh 4 rupees 5 lakh and purchased a new equipment at cost of rupees 7 lakh new equipment is purchased in the month of March that means it is being used for less than 180 days so we can claim only half the rate of depreciation so right here surgical equipment 20 lakh add addition 7 lakh now we are getting 27 lakh less sold figure that means 5 lakh we are getting 22 lakh right working not for the new surgical equipment we can claim only half the rate of depreciation so half the rate means half of 15 percentage half of 15 percentage is 7.5 percentage so 7.5 percentage of 7 lakh and balance figure balance figure is 15 lakh for 15 lakh we can claim full rate of depreciation that means 15 percentage of 15 lakh ok so depreciation allowance of surgical equipment is 7.5 percentage of new equipment that means 4 rupees 7 lakh plus 15 percentage of 15 lakh so figure is 2 lakh 77,500 next one block 6 medical books rate of depreciation is 40 percentage medical books rupees 3 lakh so write that figure in the amount column 3 lakh as there is no addition we can compute depreciation of uh, depreciation for this 3 lakh that is 1 lakh 20 percent write that figure in depreciation column next one block 7 that is related with computer again rate of depreciation is 40 percentage computer written down value 4 lakhs write that written down value 4 lakhs he purchased 8 computers for rupees 2 lakh on 31-3-2020 that means in March and sold 10 old computers ok so we can add 2 lakhs now we are getting 6 lakh less sold 1 lakh so we are getting 5 lakh write working not for the calculation of depreciation allowance for computer for addition of rupees 2 lakh we can claim only half the rate of depreciation because that asset is being used for less than 180 days so half the rate means 20 percentage 20 percentage of 2 lakh plus balance figure that means 3 lakh for the 3 lakh 
for the balance amount of 3 lakh we can claim full rate of depreciation that means 40 percentage so depreciation allowance for computer is 20 percentage of 2 lakh plus 40 percentage of 3 lakh okay so now we are getting 1 lakh 60 thousand write that figure in amount column uh, sorry in the depreciation amount column block 8 that is related with temporary shed and its rate of depreciation is 40 percentage cost is rupees 2 lakh so you can write temporary uh, shed its cost is 2 lakh and uh, uh, rate of depreciation that is uh, rate of depreciation is 40 percentage when we compute depreciation we are getting 80,000 write that in the amount column 80,000 when we add these figures we are getting total depreciation allowance that is 17 lakh 40 thousand okay hope that you understood how to calculate depreciation allowance you have to do more exercise problems okay thank you